you watch some of my videos, you probably guessed that I am a huge fan of The Legend of Zelda. However, this series has so many creepy characters and monsters that it would be a shame not to do a top 10 creepy characters in Zelda games. And it's Halloween too, so it's perfect. Number 10 Majora's Mask is by far the creepiest Zelda game ever. I mean, this game is all about sadness, death, fear. Oh boy, this might be the reason why I love it so much. Well, in Ikana Valley, there is this music house that plays music through the valley. And once you go inside the house, it seems pretty much empty. Until you go downstairs. And then... Oh boy! It's a mummy! Okay, well in fact it's a professor and the daddy of this little girl, but seriously, who expected that on their first time playing Majora's Mask? Nobody! You then either play the song of healing to save the guy, or you try to stab your sword and the little girl comes and defend him. Oh, that's so cute! Oh no, wait, it isn't! Number 9 now, those next enemies have no real name, they are only referred as them. At one point in the game, you reach the Romani Ranch, where you meet Kremia and Romani. Romani offers you bow practice to protect the cows from... Uh, them. But who are those them? Well, they are weird aliens trying to capture the cows, so you have to protect the ranch through the entire night in order to save the ranch. I guess they are not that creepy, but meh, aliens trying to get cows, always a little bit creepy, right? Right? Number 8 if you watched my Halloween special last year, you will have a sense of deja vu. This is simply because this sequence was part of my top 10 scary moments in video games. In Twilight Princess, there's this temple located inside a mansion owned by Yeto and Yeta. A couple of Yetis, I guess. Anyways, the sweet lovely Yeta shows you the way inside her bedroom so you can get your heart container and finish the temple until she sets her eyes on this piece of the mirror of the twilight. And then this happens. Yeah. Okay, fine, not creepy at all. <laughs> Number 7 When Skyward Sword was first announced, we were all speculating on who the main villain would be. Is it gonna be Ganon? Is it gonna be Zend? Is it gonna be Vahari? Well, turns out it would be this guy over there, Girahim. Well, some may argue that he's not really creepy and he's just kind of crazy. But seriously, look at that tongue. Look at that freaking tongue! And what he says to Link is super creepy for a Zelda game. I promise up front not to murder you. No, I'll just beat you within an inch of your life. What the hell? You cannot say this bitch ain't creepy, cause he is. Number 6 Ocarina of Time introduced the Ocarina, which is mandatory to accomplish your quest. Well, Majora's Mask kept the Ocarina alive and gave it new songs. At one point in the game, in Ikana Valley, you learn the Elegy of Emptiness, which gives you the ability to create statues of yourself. But seriously, what kind of statue smiles like that? Some may refer that statue as Ben from the Creepypasta. But the reason it inspired such a creepy pasta is because of the smile. What kind of statue smiles like that? Oh, it's looking into my soul. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Number 5 
The next entry on this list is a particularly interesting character first met in Ocarina of Time, but playing a major role in Majora's Mask. I'm talking about the Happy Mask Salesman. But Nico BBQ, how could someone with the name Happy Mask Salesman could be creepy? I mean, Happy Mask Salesman? <laughs> well, first of all, this character is only happy if you bring him back his money after selling his masks. Because if you don't have the money... Oh boy, those eyes, they are evil. In Majora's Mask, when he learns that you don't have the Majora's Mask back, he starts shaking you around everywhere and going ape shit. Calm down, you creepy man, I'm not the one walking around with an evil mask that can destroy the world, huh? Number 4 Did I mention how much I love Majora's Mask? Oh wait, yes I did! Well, throughout your wonderful adventure to retrieve the Majora's Mask, the next entry on this list watches you. It watches you at all time. Look up. Yep, the moon. What is wrong with the moon in Majora's Mask? It looked pissed! I guess knowing you're gonna be colliding with the Earth in 3D removes that smile of yours. The moon is present through the entire game and is almost always visible. And it comes closer and closer as time goes by. God, this freaked me out as a kid. I mean, could you imagine looking at the sky and seeing this? Number 3 Ocarina of Time has two really creepy locations I can think of right off my head. The Shadow Temple and the Bottom of the Well. And those two creepy places have something in common. This... this monstrosity! Dead Hen, as they are called, are some sort of weird white blood-stained monsters that look like blobs and walk in a really weird way. They have a bunch of hands that they use to grab you while they try to eat the life out of you. Sure, once you figure out their pattern, they aren't much of a threat. But seriously, those things are really creepy. Number 2 Another enemy found in Ocarina of Time's Shadow Temple and Bottom of the Well is the Wall Master. Watch out when you hear that weird sound. Cause that means he's coming. Wall masters are hands coming out of nowhere and trying to grab you. And if they manage to grab you, well, there's nothing you can do but scream in pain and suffering. Number one. What can be more creepy than everything mentioned before? Well, in Ocarina of Time, when you go down the grave to retrieve the Sun Song, you encounter them for the first time. Redead. But Nico BBQ, Redead are only zombies. It's not scary, lol. Look, I'm playing Left 4 Dead and killing thousands of them. <laughs> what is scary about Redeads is not their look, it's not how they walk, it's the noise they make. When they are walking around, they are making that, that moaning noise. And when they see you, they scream so loudly. It literally paralyzes you. And in my opinion, their scream is even scarier in Wind Waker. I hate Redeads. I make sure to either avoid them completely or kill them until none is left alive. But wait! Even if you kill them, they come back to life! <laughs> no! Thanks for watching this video. I know I left over tons of other creepy monsters, as Zelda is one hell of a series where you can find creepy shit. What is the creepiest character in Zelda games in your opinion? I wanna hear what you guys think in the comment section down below. And until next time, happy Halloween, be safe and have fun.